Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, we're going to look at this vacuum cleaner, the Neobot Nomo Q11. It's right there under the desk here at the studio. I'm going to cover the specs really quick and we're going to do some tests here. And of course, I'm going to show you the app. I'm going to let him map the house and we're going to test different objects on the floor because this one has smart or advanced AI obstacle avoidance. I'm going to keep this video very short. This one, three in one. So self emptying dock and you got the robot itself there with advanced LiDAR system there at the front. So we're going to test all that. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. In terms of suction power, this one is 4000 PA of suction. So one of the most powerful smart robots we tested here on the channel so far. Stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show the unboxing there. But now we're going to put it to the test straight away. So here at the studio, we got different scenarios. So we got short pile, a bit dirty, a bit of a, a longer pile, thicker pile, I mean. And we got the art floor here as well. I've dropped some objects there. So got the small object ever so slightly bigger, but a very tiny one. Dock ground from back to the future. And of course, we're going to put some crumbles here on the floor. We also have this pair of slippers there, so let's put it there. Of course, later on, we're going to test the mopping system on the tiles, for example. Yeah, guys, without any further ado, let's start the testing. Please ignore my voice. I've got COVID, so I'm trying my best here. <laughs> All right, so this is this is the very first time I'm going to use it. So just press go. The map is start to happening. And it already passed there. Got some bits. Wow, it's completely gone. I'm not sure if you guys can tell by the sound. When it detects carpet, it boosts its section power. Got section power. And let's put it all the way to the max. This is the max section power. Now oh, he went all the way to the edge of the room, trying to map the room, as you guys can see here, and it's marking where it's been. And now he's going to start the clever movement of doing the S's and as you guys can tell very smart avoiding the small object there wow I'm impressed with that really really good guys yeah can you see that circle there so the small object is there and it's continuing to do it left those behind maybe it requires a second pass in terms of object avoidance so far really good So the beauty of these robots is you don't need to worry about anything. When you finish cleaning this room or the whole house, whatever you set it to, it will return to the dock and it will self empty the dust from the robot to the dock on its own. So you don't need to worry about anything. Thumbs up for that. Funny enough, when it detects the carpet, boosts up the section power. It picked up the last few bits there. So at the moment, the whole floor 
it's done really good guys really good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just lift this up and I'm gonna let it finish the whole room so far very happy with it it's doing an excellent job excellent here you guys can see the pattern of cleaning once again all right so imagine now you want to finish this what you need to do is basically click that button there to return home for charging and now you should go to the dock and empty the container there to the big bag there let's see what happens So all the dust, it's now here. Let me just do this for the sake of the video. And can you see the dust there inside the bag, guys? Of course, when you lift it, you can close this flap like that, but we're not gonna do it now. And on the robot itself, the dust, dust the dust bin, it's now empty because all the rubbish went there. Let's now have a second look at, at the floor. So nothing was left behind. I think it did a really good job, guys. And if you look here at the app, you can see got 54% battery remaining, 14 minutes of cleaning, 14 square meters. This is another day and the robot already mapped the whole house, as you can see here. Let me just show really quick the app. So you can set different things like room cleaning, not gonna set it now, total cleaning, so we'll clean the whole house, zone cleaning, for example, and you got the spot cleaning. So if you go to the main settings of the robot, so you got light volume there, where you can change, you can change the settings, turn the light off or on, for example, that LED at the top. In here on the more functions, you can see room management is where you can see all the rooms in your place and you can set, like I said, the robot to clean a specific area there. So I got cleaning record there. It will tell you everything that the robot did. Everything is logged. Pretty nice stuff. Voice pack, different language that you can pick. And you got the remote control if you want to operate the robot using this. Okay, so let's now test the drop sensors. So the robot's on this table I've got here at the studio. I'm a bit scared, but we'll see. And as you can tell, it's not going anywhere. Let's now test the mopping system, guys. So the mopping system goes like this. And then the Velcro will go like that. I already used it yesterday. Okay, so you can use the remote control if you want, like that. Or we can just send it to the specific room. Let's send it to that green room, for example. Room cleaning, number eight, and go. With remote control, start zone cleaning. And here we can see water volume. So let's set it to the max. And suction power, let's say that the third one. And you know exactly where the robot is at your place. If we look against the light, you can see it's mopping the floor. It's a very basic system, to be honest, but it gets the job done, kind of. Of course, you can always change the section power. And again, you can see the pattern there. And if you guys notice, the floor is now wet there. Let me move to this side. So now we finished the mopping and it's going back to the recharge dock. All right, guys, let's wrap the video while watching the unboxing. Overall, very good robot. I do like this one, especially having the self-emptying dustbin. You don't need to worry about anything at all. In terms of specs, 4,000 PA off section, one of the most powerful robots we tested on the channel. We had no issues with anything and the obstacle avoidance 
work very well. In terms of the mapping, nothing to report there, did the job perfectly, detect everything. And uh, for example, if you wanted to set a no-go zone, you can set it without any issues. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out, the current price, more specs, etc. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button and please guys, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. Enjoy the rest of the unboxing. Like always, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one. Okay guys, so this is basically everything you get in the box. Of course, you got the dock and the robot itself. We got the mop accessory and two pads, two brushes, one will go in the robot and the other is spare. We got the power lead there, one dust bin bag, there's one already pre-installed there. One extra HEPA filter, there's one already pre-installed in the robot as well and the user manual over there. Let's now have a quick walk around the Neobot Nomo Q11. Here you guys can see the profile of the docking station and how it will look like. Very clean design in my opinion. You got this shiny white finish, Neobot logo there. And here you can see the low profile robot itself. This one has the LiDAR system they call it so the sensors are all around there so the dock itself really quick you remove this you got this um, grippy rubber thing at the top so you can seal this you got the dustbin bag there and to remove it just pull it up when you pull it out this will close it so no dust will come out there's a filter there and there's a hole for the dust to come to the back into the back Let's have a look on the back. You got the button there. So let's have a look at the robot itself. So this one has the advanced beam LiDAR system at the front here. So the multi sensors should be there. At the top, you got go to home or go to recharge and the power button, power pause button. You got the bumper here. So the front is a bumper as well. And on the back here, of course, you got the two connections. So you can charge this bin. Let's just remove it for now. And if we turn it around, we can see the drop sensors all around there. Some rubber wheels. Looks like a very strong material. And you got the rotating brush. Only one for this model. Here, the main brush. So you lift it like that. And you got the main brush again good material, rubber, looks very strong and steady, at the front here you got the wheel and let's have a look at the dust bin, got some instructions there, cleaning tool, here is your filter, HEPA filter, so you got a first layer of filtering and you got the second cloth foam thing and you got the filter there. Here is where you pour your water for the mopping system. Got some instructions there. 